work quietly and follow along. At any point, click the pause button to catch up or take a break. Hey artists, today I'm going to show you in this video how to draw the famous artist Paul Clay Katz. I'm going to be using a Sharpie marker so you can see things nice and clearly in the video, but you might want to use a pencil just so you can always erase. All right, here we go. In the very center of your paper, you're gonna start by drawing a basic heart. If you're not sure how to draw a heart, here's how you can do it. I find my center and I'm gonna hook up, around, down, just like that. Now we do the same, but going the opposite direction. Up, around, down, and we're connecting those two points. Not too bad. Let's continue on. From the outside points of our heart, we are going to be making a little mountain. It goes like this. Outside point up, outside point up. So it's in the shape of a mountain or kind of like a triangle. From here, we're gonna be making the eyes of the cat. The heart was more like the nose. Time for some eyes. Eyes are gonna start at the tippy tippy top of our mountain right here and be made kind of like a football shape. That's the first part, it was kind of like a nice curve, kind of like a nice hill. Now we're gonna connect it, just like that. You can see it's the shape of a football or a lemon. Now we're gonna do the other eye, up and down, down and up. Nice, easy curves. All right, now I think we should start to make the face of our cat. What do you think? Let's really get this going. On the outside point of my eye, on the left side, I'm going to put my marker, and you might wanna watch this first part, okay? Outside point, we're gonna come kind of around, down, and up, connecting to the bottom point of our heart. Outside point to the eye, down, around, and up. Same thing on the other side. The cat has two sides to his face. Outside point to the eye, down, around, and up. Pretty cool. Since we're down here, artists, why don't we add a little chin to our cat? Just like so. Now, our cat is in need of some ears. Here's how you connect the ears to make them look like Paul Clay style. We're gonna go to the point of our mountain where our eyes connect, so the very inside, right here, you're gonna go up and down, connecting to the outside of the eye. The other point of that football. Same on the other side. Up and then straight down, almost forming like a triangle. We are almost done. Let's give the cat some pupils. When I give a cat pupils, they're kind of more narrow. I do a slight curve from top down in my eye. I'll do a slight curve the other way, kind of making it look like an oval in the eyes. Let's add another sharp oval in the other eye. Woohoo! Now, the characteristic of a cat that it's well known for is the whiskers. Let's add whiskers. One, two, three. Right in the nose area. Other side. Out. One, two, three. Not too bad. Oh, but this cat has some uneven whiskers, but that's okay. Cat's whiskers aren't even on both sides. No body is the same on exacts both sides. Now, we noticed in Paul Clay's drawing that in the middle of the cat's ears, he put what the cat was probably thinking about. Do you remember what that was? Hmm. It was a bird. In your drawing, we can change it up and we can learn and kind of mimic what Paul Clay did. I want you to think about something. You could do a bird too. Birds are pretty cool. What are other things cats might think about to eat? Hmm, I know. I'm going to put a fish because I'm gonna put it in the top of its head just like Paul Clay did to show that, that my cat is thinking about getting a yummy fish. Here's how you draw a fish if you wanna make one too. Or you can add your own. Maybe it's a mouse. You can get very creative. When I draw a fish, 
I like to go back to making a basic football shape. Curve up one, curve down and up two, kind of like that football. And now from that end, I'm gonna go out, out. I'm going to then make a V that connects those two points. Now I can add other characteristics of the fish, like a fin and an eye, and maybe some other scales. Awesome. This is how you draw pa, pa, Paul Clay's cat, and we added our own little personal touch. Awesome job. You're drawing just like Paul Clay, a famous artist. Great work. Hey artists, did you know that there is a way you can paint your picture without using paint? I know, mind blown, crazy. And I'm gonna show you in this video on our work, um, Paul Clay Cats. The cool thing about this method is, and I'm gonna teach you this kind of secret, is we get this really cool effect, just like Paul Clay did using real paint. So you get to um, learn lots of different things here all in one place. The secret is painting with tissue paper. What happens is we're gonna apply water to our picture, but you have to do it in a certain way, and the pigments from the tissue paper will transfer to our paper or our drawing. Pretty amazing. Here's how you do this. Pay close attention. You have a paintbrush and you have a cup of water. You first need to wet your paper, just like so. Water first. Now you don't need to soak the paper, just kind of slowly brush some on. Here we go. And you also don't need to do the whole paper, you could do a section at once. Like right now, I just have this amount on. That's a good start. Once you have your paper and it's wet, you are then going to take tissue paper and set it on your paper. What did you notice? I actually kind of gave it a little like brush, brush, brush. I kind of tapped it in. There you go. Go. And then what you're gonna do is, again, with water. And then you paint over the paper. Sometimes the tissue paper doesn't quite stick, but this, I want you to think, is we're kind of sandwiching the tissue paper between water. There you go, so the water acts like glue in like a sandwich form. Okay, let's start the process again. I need to add water, tissue paper, I like to just smooth it with my fingers. And water. There we go, whoop. If your tissue paper kind of pulls, that's okay. Do your best to flatten it out again. Now, artists, the amazing thing we can do is do a little, little, little water, because that was already had some there. And you can layer the tissue paper just a little if you want to. Have it overlap one another. And you guessed it, water. I'm gonna keep adding some to my picture wherever it is wet. Ooh. Be careful, you only wanna do one piece of tissue paper at a time. You don't wanna do two layering each other at once, then it won't work. There we go. Now when you do your picture, you're gonna to wanna to do this whole thing, cover the entire page, okay? And, whoops. You have the choice, as an artist, what kind of color scheme you want. Here I'm kind of using all the colors and adding a little bit more blues like our artist Paul Clay. Um, but you can do it any colors you want of tissue paper that you have available. All right, thanks for le learning how to paint without paints. Have a good day and happy arting. Bye.